the call. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start recording. So thank you guys for being on this call. I appreciate you guys on this wonderful Sunday afternoon. I know that you guys could be doing anything else right now, but you guys decided to hop on this call and decided to do a little personal development, a little learning, um, a little bit of, you know, catching up on the week and, you know, getting ahead on next week. Um, that's what these calls are for. Um, these calls are more intentional for the progress that you're going to be making in your life, right? This, these calls are literally about um, following up and literally assessing your life. How was your week last week? How can I make my week better this week? How can I, you know, intentionally live better paradigms this week than I did last week? How can I, you know, make every single situation this week that much better? Because if you make your better better, then you'll always be improving your better and you'll always feel happy and fulfilled about it. So another thing I wanted to share with you guys is I'm going to be talking about um, a few Bible verses, obviously, that I've been studying throughout the week just because I wanted to give you guys a little bit of theology because that's some of um, the things that I also do. And I, that's how I like to incorporate a lot of things. Um, a lot of people like to use science. I like to use both um, just so people understand, you know, the, the wide variety of, you know, just the concept of science and energy and God and how everything is just coming from one source right you just have to simplify things and I'm going to go ahead and uh, continue on with the call I'm going to let um, another person hop on that's why I stopped um, but picking off of there um, I just wanted to share that concept with everybody because I was going to talk about something that you know to me is super important that's Matthew 7 1 um, and that to me is the essence of this company and the essence of everything that we do, right? Um, and that to me speaks very loud. And the verse says, do not judge or you too will be judged, right? Um, the reason I say that is very important is because when somebody starts something, like let's say every single one of us starts our own podcast, starts our own group, starts our own videos, it's very important not to judge other people that are doing something like what we're doing. And sometimes we find ourselves doing it. You know, I know that when I first started, I found myself, you know, judging and I didn't realize that I was doing it, but then I was doing it because I was really not doing it myself. So when I wasn't doing it myself, I realized that, you know, there's a lot of power in actually just getting up here and just sharing your story from time to time. And that's why I'm going to give, you know, in the following weeks, people an opportunity to share their story on Sunday. That way they can build something to where they can share something with you guys and have it be a community to where we're all speaking to each other rather than just Isaiah is the only one on the call. This is why we've had opportunities to where um, I've promoted Audra's call. We've promoted uh, Amanda's call. Um, we promote Francisco's calls. We've promoted uh, Stacia's call. So we're, we're, we're getting everybody in the position to feel comfortable with the uncomfortable, right? And that's part of what these calls are for. Intentional living does require you to live in the uncomfortable state. Um, and that's super important when it comes to, you know, building from you know formless substance like the science of getting rich uh rich speaks about so the set uh, verse number two says for in the same way you judge others you will be judged and with the same measure you use it will be measured to you so that means that with the same intensity like if you're criticizing somebody for their small beginnings you too will find yourself one day starting something in a small sense and you will feel what you gave that one person that one day when you laughed at them or, you know, vice versa, if somebody laughed at you, it's going to happen to where God's going to bless you and you're going to feel fulfilled and you're going to feel like you're actually accomplishing something. And when you feel like you're actually accomplishing something, I know that a lot of us can agree that you feel like progress is, is, is the essence of everything that you're doing in life. Because when you, prog when you, when you, when you progress in life, you feel fulfilled. That's what we all seek. We seek progress. We really don't seek perfection. Perfection comes with imperfection. When we learn how to be uncomfortable, that's when you're living a perfect life, really, because you're stepping out into those areas to where a lot of people wouldn't step out into um, and discover, you know, what it is that God has for them um, or life or the universe, you know, for the people that are going to watch this on the replay that, you know, don't believe in God. You know, I myself, I believe in God, but I don't like to, I don't like to impose my belief on anybody. I just like to share this concept um, very openly um, to make as many friends as possible because I do like to share with everybody. Um, my name is Isaiah and I am your friend. I'm here for you. I'm not ever here to bash any of your ideas. However, I do speak very sternly because I don't allow just anything in my, in my life. And I know that you guys are the same way. I know that you guys are very studious about what it is that you guys do. And I want to just encourage you guys to keep doing that um, because that's very important for every single 
thing that you do in life. That's how you add more time to your life and add more experiences to add more value so that you can add more monetary uh, value to your, to your life, right? Um, so what are the qualities of intentional living? How would that help me in my business? What would that look like, right? So what's intentional living in your business? That means that you're running your business or business isn't running you. That means if somebody messages you, you don't stop doing everything that you're doing and message that person. No, no, that's not what you do. You plan it in. You let that person know, hey, look, I was a little busy. It's always better to apologize because you weren't able to get on the call because you finished doing you because that's always more important. That way you can be fully present like you guys are here tonight, fully present. You know, that's why a lot of people don't make it on these calls. They feel like, you know what, I, what do I really need to be on the call for? I feel like I can do this on my own. And a lot of those people are missing out, you know, because if you watch this on the replay versus live, there's a different feeling behind it. And I know you guys can agree with me on that. Um, because a lot of what I've learned from the mentors that I've been around is, has been live. It's been like conversation like this. That's just how it opens up. And the people that receive it, receive it and, and, and further their, their education, they further their, their experience and they impact a lot more lives and they shortcut the learning curve. That's really what it's about. So it's part of universal law. Uh, so part of what I'm talking about is part of the universal law of giving and receiving, right? We have to give something to receive something. We can't just like expect to receive something and not give something, right? And a lot of that happens invisibly for us, right? Like for instance, let's say you make an investment like you guys did here, right? The thing is you guys still have to see the investment further for your life. So you still have to see it every day as like, oh yeah, I made this investment. You know what? I, I really have to be about my word because your word is what's gonna create everything in your life. For me, everything that's happened for my wife or every single person that's on this call, I, I know that you guys can agree with me on this. Uh, for the people that are doing, you know, life by design, um, everything happens from a thought and it becomes a word. When it becomes a word, it gets spoken or it doesn't. If it doesn't get spoken, it's a fear that holds you back. But if you speak it, it becomes a truth in your life. And when it becomes a truth, you're able to take the lid off a little. Okay, I want you guys to really ponder on this point. Um, take the lid off of a little. Okay, what does that really mean? A lot of the times you say, Oh, I just made a little money, I just made 12 bucks in trading. I just made 12 bucks because it's really nothing. It's, it's not really nothing. Most people don't win anything at all in the forex markets. And, and, and if you do $12 times 100, that's not a little. But you just have to keep track of your progress, you got to keep track of yourself. And that's why I want to, you know, really encourage you guys to speak to take the lid off of a little. When you guys say a little, is it really a little? Because I noticed that every single little, 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 little event leading up to where we're at now, me and my wife, has been important. Like every decision, every micro thought, every action, even for me getting on this call, me sharing these calls with you guys on the group, me, me saying I was going to be available on the call today um, to map out the week, to outlook the week. Um, for trading as well that's what we're going to recap this uh that's what i should say but that's what we're going to end the call with tonight um we're going to recap some of last week's trades and we're going to outlook the week this week so that's what we're going to you know end the call with but for now let's 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 stay focused on take the lid off of a little right obedience is part of a little right when we think about obedience what what does that make us feel like after the call right or after isaiah says it when you think about obedience, do you really feel like you should, you know, follow some of the things that some of the mentors say? Or do you feel like, oh, you know what, I'm going to take some of what they say and then I'm going to just do it my way? Because that's not how I did it. I, I was doing that way at first, but then nothing was working. And I felt like, you know, I was just getting nowhere. I was just doing a bunch of stuff and I wasn't getting anywhere. And I realized that that was happening because I was halfway in and halfway out. And a lot of that time, a lot of the times, all that we need to do is just do it we don't need to know what we're doing we just need to do it and then in the doing the knowing comes through and that's how you're able to put a blueprint together like a lot of what i put together for a lot of our students a lot of uh you know the people that are on this call right now it started from applying it myself so i had i had to look i had to look stupid doing it first like i look stupid doing it um, when i first started doing it because people were like dude what are you doing calls for you should be getting a job bro like where you're at 
And I'm just like, well, I need to get better at my brain. And my brain needs to start thinking better. My brain needs to start having a better feeling. That way, when people get on a call, it feels real. It feels, you know, live to them. It really feels like, you know, this can impact their life. And that's what I've always desired. And I think that when you follow your desire, your obedience is right next to it. Because you follow your desire, right? So pay, pay close focus to your level of obedience this week, right? And every week moving forward, not only, you know, I've shared that with you guys, if that's the first time, um, you know, that you guys are hearing that, um, you know, keep that in mind. We put labels on our life, right? We put labels on our life. We say, oh, that's a little, or I just, I'm just a manager. What does I'm just a manager mean? You can't expand on that and, and bring that into something like this, like network marketing, you know, or like networking or trading even. You know, because trading, a lot of trading involves time management. So if you've been a manager before, if you've been in the military before, I know Armani that hopped on this call um, at the end of the, uh, a little later. Um, I know that, you know, for you, you, you guys work with time a lot. That's the same thing with trading. Trading, you have to work with time. You have to make sure that your times are mapped out. You have to make sure that you like what you see in the time that you normally take your trades, right? You can't be trading just randomly and expect to win. That's not how you win trading. Um, once you start getting better, obviously you can take more trades, you can look at the chart more and more and more and more and be able to profit just off of, you know, just a move or off a candle. But that's, you know, after you start putting in the work and that's after you put the desire on why it is that you even want to do this. You always got to ask yourself every morning, you know, when you wake up, why is it that I want to do this? Like I always ask myself every morning, I say, why do you do this? I do this because I love doing this. I love sharing this information with you guys and I love impacting my life further because I'm giving. How did I start? By giving my word first. I didn't have a lot of, you know, like a lot of influence when I first started doing network marketing. I didn't even have friends online. I, I wanna say all my friends became my friends because of something that I shared with them in, in, in my life, into their life. And that's how they were able to make a shift in their life. And they were able to say, you know what, Isaiah, you changed my life. And that's how I started making my friends. And I, I want to encourage you guys to really take the lid off of a little because that's all that I did. I know Francisco's been really, really passionate about doing calls and really being on live. So I really want to encourage you to continue doing that, bro, because that's something that freed me from me and allowed me to be me the way I needed to be me. So we need God to provide in a time like now, right? That's why we need to take the lid off of a little because if we want God to provide for us right now, he wants us to thank him with the golf claps, right? The, 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 thank you, Jesus. Like the under the breath, you know, like the thank you, Jesus. Like the, 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 the Jesus that you, you felt like a little weird at work saying, God likes that, you know? Um, and I know that, you know, sometimes Christians judge that. Like they say, you should be all into Jesus and all this stuff. I don't agree with that. I agree with, you know, a little. God likes a little because if you look at David, he was a little guy. They were laughing at him, right? Like he was going to really take out a nine foot Goliath. Are you kidding me? And then Daniel in the lion's den, are you kidding me? Like that's another thing, right? So God likes a little because that's when he can showcase who he is, right? Uh, a verse that I wanted to give you guys to study is 1 Kings 17, 10 through 11 and 12, right? Um, I wanted to give you guys to study that verse because I'm going to be posting from that verse this week. And I'm going to be studying that this week. That way, next week, we can talk a little bit more about that. Um, and I hope that you guys are liking this call for sure. Um, and I know that, you know, as the weeks evolve, as you guys can see that, you know, some of this Bible is going to be implemented into our business. And, you know, a lot of this Think and Grow Rich comes from the Bible. Once you guys see how this is dissected, I think you guys are going to want to share this with, um, with families, you know, because this is a, a way of bringing people together to church, not in a religious way, but in a very unique way to where, People can come together and really share the power of God and the power of the story. Um, yeah, First Kings 17, 17, 10, 11 through 12, or uh, 10 through 12, I'm sorry. First Kings 17, 10 through 12. Um, so we operate and limit ourselves by either fear or faith. So I want to, you know, before I, you know, get into the trading stuff, just ask you tonight, are you operating your life by fear or by faith? You know, and before you answer that call to yourself, really ask yourself, you know, am I really living intentionally? Because living intentionally means I'm doing exactly what I want to do in this moment in time. That has nothing to do with the money. I heard one of my mentors, Bob Proctor, say this, and I will always quote Bob Proctor for this, 
because he said, what is that? What does having your goals have to do anything with that? With, with having money? What is you having? What, what is you going to look at your house or your dream car have to do with you having the money? Why don't you do that? Because you don't have the money. Like you don't need the money to go look at the car, to go feel what it's going to feel like. You need to feel the feeling first. Like my mentors encouraged me to feel. You need to feel the feeling of how that house would look. You need to picture yourself in every single room of that house. You need to imagine yourself having Thanksgiving dinner with your family and inviting all of us over. That's what we need to do as a team because that's something that's been able to help us break through some of these levels that a lot of people will say are impossible, right? Mind you, we're moving around during COVID and we were where we were in the last season, right? This is a new season. We're stepping into the next season, right? But always remember to plant something every season and bring somebody with you. Share this with somebody. Why? Because that's going to help you feel fulfilled. That's not going to help me. I'm already feeling fulfilled. And I would love, you know, to see more people on this calls because I love seeing every single one of you guys. And I love, you know, how you guys come together and really, you know, take the most out of this and, and really do the most throughout your weeks with this information because I know that this is all about empowering your life to do what it is that you are called out to do because I know that um, if you make something out of what you have, God will make sure that you always have enough, right? The miracle is not that you, you become a millionaire all in one night. The miracle is that the flow keeps coming to you and you keep attracting more and more and more and more and more and more and more. And before you know it, you're way more than a millionaire. You have what's called a consistency flip where people didn't think you were as good as you are and they're right about it because you're actually better than that. So they're right about you're not, you not being as good as you think they are or you not being as good as they think that you are. That's, that becomes true. And when you consistently keep doing something, you keep outshining your haters. And I always want to encourage you guys to always be on the lookout for pursuing the climb. Don't pursue the, the coast. Don't pursue the easy moments. Look for the hard moments. Because when you look for the hard moments, chances are that every moment just becomes simpler, right? It won't be a little for long. Remind yourself of that. It won't be a little for long. If you started with one or two people on your calls, then that's it. It's, it won't be that way for too long. I, know, I remember when it was just me, myself, and I. <laughs> I remember I would quote that to me, myself, and I. I remember I quote that on Facebook and stuff. And now it's not just me. Now I, I do this for our team. Like I wake up and I'm like, you know what? I got to do this for my team. I can't do this just for me. It's just, it's deeper than that. So when I want to, you know, just leave you guys with, um, before I get into the trading is it will always look like a little, but it will never run out. And that's powerful. Okay. So it will always look like a little, However, it will never run out. Why? Because that's God's promise. That's not what Isaiah said. That's what God said. Okay, so I'm going to read some of these comments before I get into the, the trading stuff. Um, so I hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, I know that I am. I love doing this. I wouldn't trade this for the world. Um, actually, I was actually reading this article earlier um, that I found on Forex Factory. Um, and it was talking a little bit about what's going to happen with the markets, you know, how the markets are looking. Um, and I was personally analyzing um, AUD USD. That's the, first, that's the pair that I'm looking at. It looks like it's going to engulf to go back upward um, to maybe test um, 0 0.7185. So look for that to maybe potentially continue on from that point or fail from that area, which, you know, if you guys are uh, looking at my screen and following my screen, um, obviously, I had this set up for the sell, right in this area. You know, obviously, I didn't take the I didn't take the sell. I took the buy, um, but I still have the sell and play right there because um, it could still well, you know, fail from 700. That's actually a level to where I always look for trades to um, die off at. And this one looks like it might have um, just died off at that level from what we have right now um, in the action because this is a live chart that's happening right now. Um, so. From what we um, have here, we might have a potential break downward um, to test that 500 area again to uh, potentially come underneath that red zone. So this is where I would look for a potential buy if it's not respecting the sell. And the way you can see if it's respecting the sell, it'll give you nice long wicks right in this area to the upside. 
And if it's the, if it gives you the opposite, which is it did right here, which is the, the wick to the bottom side, then it'll go to, to the upside. And that's always something that you guys want to keep in mind. The reason I highlighted that area is because it has a few more than three touches. Um, so that's something that, you know, with the education, as you start doing the one-on-ones, I can share that a little bit more in depth. Um, but right now, as of right now, I'm looking at this on the five minute. It looks pretty smooth for if you wanted to take a sell uh, from this top area right now, because it doesn't look like it has a lot of volume. Um, and part of another um, another thing that I looked at, looks like it's in, it engulfs the Australian economy, COVID-19. So that's going to play a lot into into the hands of the gold coming down right and if gold comes down that pair comes down that meaning the dollar goes up because of the vaccine okay so there's a vaccine that's about to come out um and that's gonna help the dollar increase the value right now the dxy um i believe on friday was trading at like 90 93 and today it started at it started at 93.45 and now it's made its way down to 93.32, which looks like it's going to test another lower low, um, potentially create another lower low. Um, right now it looks like it's right now it looks exactly like UCAD. So if you guys were to look at UCAD and the DXY, those two pairs move together. That's actually the next pair that I wanted to, to share with you guys and elaborate a little bit more uh, on UCAD. Um, UCAD looks like it's playing to the downside, as you guys can see right now. Um, it looks exactly like the DXY. Um, I usually look for UCAD to play the opposite of AUDUSD. So when I took the buy earlier for AUDUSD, what happened is I noticed that this pair came down as well um, as the other one went upward. So that's something that you could probably write in your notes. USD CAD moves opposite from AUDUSD. Um, and AUDUSD is an intermedium fast pair. So that's like a, it, it, it's a pretty good volume pair. It's going to give you pretty good money. Um, UCAD um overall for the week um or for I, I guess for the next few days because i always do an update on my charting so i always i encourage you guys to be on these calls um, because the market just does its thing you know and you have to reanalyze your chart you have to redo your your markup so i appreciate you guys for watching this right now and for um staying on i know that um sunday calls have been just mindset but you know i was like you know what i'm gonna add a little outlook call um, as well, because that's a great idea to get people going for the week. That way they understand what pairs they maybe want to be taking this week. Um, that way they're not just aimlessly trading. Um, cause I know that for me, um, I like to be trading pairs that are moving pretty well. Like this one right now is looking like it's going to move to the upside. Um, personally, because of the article that I was reading, um, prior to reading this article, um, UCAD looks like, uh, it looks pretty solid because I traded this pair Friday and it looked like the bulls were definitely in session with NFP that happened. There's a lot of strong numbers that came back from unemployment numbers. The unemployment numbers were actually uh, positive compared to what they were, what they had expected. So they had expected a lot more jobs being lost than there were actually jobs lost. So that's something that, that came out in the report. So that created a strong NFP um friday and that is going to be the volume that's going to play out today tomorrow um and potentially for the next few weeks so what i saw from ucat is that the bulls returned and then i, I found an article on sun on saturday i was looking at some articles and i ran into the fact that you know it says that the bulls have returned for a usd cad so a lot of this is just like right now it's wicking back up and it's not even the session so i can only imagine how good it's going to look like tomorrow in the morning um, cause these candles look pretty solid. Um, I look for a nice retracement downward, maybe into, um, I'm gonna circle the area for you guys. This area right here. And then once it comes into that area, what I see it doing is maybe going back upward and potentially going right up, right up in there. That's what I see it potentially doing right now from what I see. Um, cause I, I want it to come down a little bit. That way it gives some time to, um, breathe. That way we can come in at a lower price so that we can just buy it and, and collect that longer candle, collect the majority of the long green candle on a four hour time frame. Um, so just watch what I, what I would encourage you guys to do this week is watch your pair on the five minute chart for about five, uh, five candles. Okay. So for about 25 minutes before you guys start deciding on if you guys want to take that pair. So don't just take the pair because you guys feel it. Okay. Understand like, okay, what do I see right here? Is it gonna break the trend line? Right now it looks like it's, it's, it's supporting 
the wedges and it's going upward. That's what it looks like to me. Um, I wouldn't see a sell. I wouldn't see um, the bears returning until um, it would break potentially maybe 1.33, 1 1.5, um, and potentially the cap, which would be 1.33000. That's where I would see it um, potentially becoming bearish if that was the case. And that would be um, just so you guys have an indication of, of both possibilities because anything can happen with Forex, right? Uh, right in here. That's where that would be. It would reject, so it would come, like it would have to come from where it is now, down here, come right in there to reject. That's where I would see the bears coming back. Um, but until then, I would see it, like I said, going with the first option, um, which would be the, the buy right in that area that I had circled with the blue line. Um, so that's, that's the pair that I'm looking at for right now. Um, as of, I wanna say as of Tuesday, we're gonna have uh, more pairs, obviously, to talk to you guys about. Um, this was uh, obviously a brief outlook call on what it is that I'm looking at this week. I know that I'm also looking at GJ. Um, that's a pair that I'm looking for. Um, I will send the chart. I actually already did in the group, so if you guys wanna just check that out, it's the markups in there. There's three pairs um, that I'm looking at to start the week. And then on Tuesday, we're gonna be looking at different pairs um, or potentially if these pairs are still going, we'll look at these pairs to continue these pairs. Um, but I wanna just thank you guys for being uh, on this call, for being such lovely individuals and for being such great learners. I really wanna wish you guys a really, really great night and thank you guys for really being um, patient with yourselves and just with every single person around you guys because I know that with something like COVID happening right now, I know that it can be very challenging for a lot of people to, you know, just really have that space that they normally have because you might get random calls or at work, you might have to like, you know, like extend the conversation that you normally don't have to. Um, and I really want to thank you guys for, you know, finding the time and the patience to really be on the call and really, you know, take this in because at the end of the day, this is for you guys. And I really appreciate, you know, you guys for being on because I know that you guys are going to make the most of this and you guys are going to be also able to invite other people onto this call and be able to empower them to really have them be on this call, not for the purpose of, you know, being on a call for Isaiah, but really, you know, finding the light they need to find on these calls. Because I promise you, when you start hearing this over and over and over and over, you start having a different attitude towards life and your attitude will always determine your altitude guys. So thank you guys for being on this call this Sunday. I want you guys to share this on your wall. I will share this on YouTube and the person that shares it this week, what I'm going to go ahead and do is do a giveaway for you and I'm going to go ahead and give you a little bit of a, a cash incentive. That's what I'm going to do for you. Or I'm going to send you a book. I might send you a book. Either way, share this video. Um, if you guys found it of value, if you guys didn't, um, well then, I guess let me know. Um, either way, I thought this was valuable. Um, and I'm, you know, more talking to the people that are gonna watch this on the replay um, because there are those haters out there to where, um, you know, they can ruin your party if you don't know how to correctly speak to them on a video like this. This is what, you know, sometimes people fear um, because they're like, you know, well, if I start speaking and, and somebody hears my video, what if they say this, what if they say that? Well, then you have to have that cover in your mind to where you, you say it a certain way. That way, if, people watch this on the replay and they hear it that that way well then they're like oh dude like well he doesn't want me on a call no i don't want you on the call because if you're that person that like i said to recap the call um if you're judging we don't want to be a part of your business bro like no don't be judging bro like this is about supporting each other so whatever you guys have going on i know right now francisco has this um t-shirt business and he's printing a lot of t-shirts he's doing different things um and stacia she has her business she's selling insurance um her husband He's, he's, he's doing also his online business as well. So, you know, these are families that I like to support and I love to support. And, and, and I like to, you know, continue extending that, that token of appreciation. I like to pass the torch to these people like Audra as well. Um, she's also an entrepreneur. Um, right now she's not able to be on a call. Obviously she's at work, but she'll watch this on the replay and really appreciate the value from these calls. Like I appreciate you guys for being on this call and, and just really taking it all in. Thank you guys again for being on this call. Have a great, blessed rest of your night. And stay tuned on the Telegram groups for the signals and Plan Pit Profit for the chart for the charting for tonight um, and for this week. God bless you guys and take care.